The topic of our research was to project uh, cancer incidence rates and burden uh, from using data collected between 2000 and 2012 out to 2030. Um, the uh, background behind doing this research was to was because um, with the advent of or increased use of antiretroviral therapy. Um, Individuals uh, living with HIV in the United States are living longer um, and they are aging into groups um, where cancer risk of um, cancers that normally affect the general population is higher. Um, so in order to kind of estimate or kind of predict and inform planning for future uh, cancer prevention and treatment programs, we felt that it was important to estimate the burden of cancer um, within the U.S. Uh, HIV positive population. The data that we used uh, is from the NCI's HIV AIDS and Cancer Match Study, which is essentially a linkage study of cancer registries uh, from across the U.S. Um, and HIV um, positive um, registries as well. So the, the data has been linked. Um, the data goes back out to uh, the, the data that we use in this analysis goes to 2000 and uh, continues into 2012. Um, it's a robust data source. Um, and the uh, data that we use to project um, or predict HIV prevalence comes from the CDC. So they're both uh, nationally representative sources of data. We found that the proportion of uh, HIV positive individuals who will be 65 and above will shift from uh, about 4% to 21% by the time we reach the uh, year 2030. Also we found in general that the uh, age, uh, the age incidence rates or the age standardized incidence rates of, um, the, of most cancers will either decrease or um, remain constant in trend based on trends uh, from 2000 to 2012. The only cancer um, that will increase in terms of age-specific incidence rates uh, is, was found to be prostate cancer. Uh, and we also found that there has there, the burden of uh, cancer within this population uh, will, will shift uh, from uh, the, the, norm, the traditionally AIDS-defining cancers uh, to more of the non-AIDS-defining cancers which uh, affect the general population. And I guess the main point or the main finding is in 2030, the most um, we we've, we predict that the most common uh, cancers will be um, prostate cancer, liver cancer, lung cancer, um, and um, NHL. So um, that was our main finding. And so uh, AIDS-defining cancers are those that uh, is def are defined by the CDC as uh, if an individual with HIV is found to be diagnosed with these cancers, uh, they are known to have what's called AIDS, which is a late stage uh, of HIV. Uh, and those are Kaposi sarcoma, NHL, and cervical cancer. Now, non-AIDS-defining cancers um, are eight cancers that we looked into, and they include uh, anal cancer, liver cancer, lung cancer, prostate cancer, breast cancer, and colon cancer, and also uh, some forms of Hodgkin's lymphoma. It's important for us to be able to plan for future preventative programs for uh, this specific subpopulation within the United States. Um, it's important for us to be able to plan for future um, um, smoking cessation programs, uh, cancer screening programs, and also programs that will um, in, that will improve um, the incidence of um, hepatitis B and C uh, screening within uh, this population because that, that is an important factor that contributes to this increasing um, in, uh, burden of cancer. Yeah, so I think the, one of the important limitations to take into consideration is that we're assuming that the trend that we're seeing from 2000 to 2012 um, will be consistent or will stay the same out to 2030, so we're not accounting for any uh, potential changes in cancer incidence or HIV prevalence within the population. Also, um, we're also assuming that every uh, person who has HIV uh, or has been diagnosed H with HIV uh, is in, within our registry so uh, we are missing people who are not who have, are not necessarily within uh, the healthcare system um, but do have HIV so potentially the burden of cancer can actually be higher 
So next summer, I'm going back to NCI to look at cancer cases averted uh, using the same data source, um, and I'm excited to see what that, what that analysis will also look like.